into the water. The Glory Hole Spillway serves as a conduit for excess reservoir water to flow through, reducing the chance of water cresting over the top of Whiskey Town Dam. Pooling water is creating a tough situation for the homeless people living at Chico's alternative homeless camp. Action News Network reporter Lauren Cooper is live at a city-selected site at Eaton and Cohasset Roads. So Lauren, is Keeper Slough forcing people out? Well, the rain has forced a few people out already, but the wind seems to be the biggest concern for people living in tents. The wind has been ripping right through the lines meant to tether tents and rain covers to the ground, leaving people exposed to the elements. I spoke with one man who's had to relocate because his tent was destroyed by the weather. The wind is uh, tearing up everybody's stuff. I've had to go under the bridge like a freaking troll. It's, uh, everything, my tent is destroyed. I mean, you got 80 mile per hour winds coming through here. The little tent ain't gonna do nothing. Other people I spoke with have been managing the flooded area by digging trenches to divert the water back to the channel. And some community members were stopping by and dropping off pallets so people could use them as a brace against the wind. I reached out to the Public Works to find out if they have plans to add any storm protection at the site, but have not heard anything back yet. And for the man who shared his struggles with me earlier, he originally was living at a pallet shelter but was kicked out. He says he doesn't know where he'll go or what he'll do if the waters reach up high enough to where he's sleeping under the bridge. Live in Chico, Lauren Cooper, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thanks, Lauren. The city offered up the alternative campsite specifically for people who don't qualify to stay at the tourist shelter or pallet site. And a lot more people are living there right now. It was all part of a settlement agreement after a group of homeless people.